Hi YouTube. It's uh, January 17th, 2012 and it's my 53rd day on the planet and today I was just the one heck of a day. I made like three different videos and um, I keep no, like, <laughs> I keep trying to get it uploaded. Look what happened. I don't know what's the deal here. Oh, uh, I did like three different videos and um, one of them didn't have any audio, one of them didn't publish, and then one of them my uh, computer went haywire and blacked out before I got the publishing done. So this next one, I am hitting publish, I don't give a damn what it looks like. Um, uh, I'm, not, I'm not previewing it or anything. Um, yesterday the wind blew about 100 miles an hour, no, exaggerating, like 40 miles an hour. You can go outside except to do the bare minimum, like bring in the wood and do chores and stuff. So I stayed in the house and I made, um, I mean literally, a mansion for my 11 guinea pigs. And um, I've been doing research on YouTube and found like these modular like guinea pig homes that you can make. But I just used what I had and I opened up their room where I had them at. And now it's all cages and guinea pig runs and it's like an open area for them to all be in a community together and also I can separate them. So it's like a really neat guinea pig setup. And um, I didn't like it before because I had them in cages and the water would leak into the cages and I give my guinea pigs a lot of hay and stuff and so it would it would make just it would smell like a barnyard in there sometimes. It was so disgusting. So I'm hoping this uh, is going to be easier to keep clean and um, and more enjoyable for the pigs because they were living in little confined spaces and that's no way for a pig to live. So I did that. Then today I had a let's see. Oh, I was going to dye my hair yesterday, but. I, and you can see, I still have, I don't know, if you, I kind of have it parted differently, so you can't see where it's really white, but, um, I was going to color my hair yesterday, that was what I had planned for the day, but after I uh, took a shower and washed my hair and everything, I, I had put a ton of conditioner on it, and I had already decided I wasn't going to color it that day, but then when I looked at it after I got out of the shower, and I had already conditioned it really good and stuff, my hair is in dire shape, and I don't think that it can take, um, it's very long, it's down past the middle of my back, but I don't think that it can take uh, any more color or bleach or anything, and so I'm pretty much stuck with this m mess until um, probably the summer, because I don't know how long it's going to take to grow the front out and all that kind of stuff. So bear with me on my horrible hair days, but if there's many ahead because I'm not going to do any more chemicals to this hair. So anyway, so I was going to do that, but I didn't get to do that. So then I did the guinea pig thing. But today it was much nicer, so I did get to go outside and spend a little time outside, and I caught up on a few videos. Oh, and my last video that I made, um, it had allowed me to make longer videos than 15 minutes, but for some reason it only made the audio. It didn't pick up the last five minutes of the video or something. And that was the five minutes that I was talking about um, these five uh, strong women on YouTube that I really like. So I am going to do another video, especially for them, because really they deserve one of their own. And uh, I'd like to do that every now and then, is to pick, you know, like my five favorite funny people or my five favorite, you know, smart people or my five favorite crazy people or my five favorite strong women which was the first one I did so uh, my five favorite strong women on YouTube so uh, that's what I'm going to do my next video on even though I have a lot of other stuff that I've been telling you guys I was going to do um I think that's priority because that was a messed up video um the only other thing I want to share with you that I told you I was going to tell you about was this digestion support chewable probiotic that I've been taking um, I have a little bit of irritable bowel syndrome and I've always had a what they call a nervous tummy and um, I have digestion problems like you wouldn't believe so um, I've been working on that um, and I have it pretty well under control with my diet and stuff but I started on these probiotics because my mom and dad both have uh, told me to take these this one is the Kroger brand I get it at Smith's and sometimes they're extremely expensive. You can get them at GMC, you can get them all kinds of places. But um, they're a little bit expensive. And uh, 
sometimes they would round up in the twenty dollars for less than a thirty day supply that'd be like a two weeks supply and there's two billion active cultures of live you know live um, flora or whatever in this that you need in your digestive system your digestive tract to make your digestion work properly and um so this is my i've been doing this for about a few weeks i picked these up after i got real sick and i took all those antibiotics after i had the pneumonia recently and um after, even if, if you don't have digestive problems, but if you take antibiotics, it kills all the bacteria in your system that's good bacteria plus bad bacteria. So, and you need your good bacteria for all kinds of things, um, just to keep everything working in good working order. We need these bacteria in our body. And you get some from yogurt and Activia and stuff like that, but I don't think there's any way that you can get two billion active cultures. Um, my dad said that he researched it and there's no way so so that's the thing that I suggest you do this stuff is about six dollars and ninety seven cents digestion support you get this at Kroger's this one was berry flavored and you eat it with a meal but I don't eat that very many meals so I just take this sometimes by itself with my chocolate milk or my toasting one so that's one thing that I did want to tell you about. And uh, that's all that I'm going to tell you about now because I have to call my dinner on my husband because he just came in and gave me a, a hungry eye. So um, I'm, I hope this one publishes. I am not going to try any more today except for that I will make the my five favorite strong women on YouTube video later because, like I said, they're all rocking badass women and they all need a little bit of support probably well a couple of them don't need my support but i'm sure they appreciate it because i really love them and just let me get back to you on that so that's the deal today was pretty much inside i'm gonna go make some pork chops and some french fries and some green chili probably and um everything else is going pretty good uh, can't think of anything that is pressing other than something that happened today which was on my other video but I don't have time to tell you about it now but just the next time that I talk to you remind me something let's uh, see what can I say remind me crappy people that I do business with that ought to do it and that should spur on the story that at least will take a five or ten minutes so anyway peace be with you guys I love you all and uh, be blessed haters <laughs>